the sugar buggers and welcome back to another part of Let's Play The Sims 4 Springston Legacy Challenge. So here we are in the household of Jean McKinley, of course with our little Preciosa Indigo and her um, <clears throat> evil freaking siblings. So you're probably wondering in the last month what has changed. So Indigo is definitely going to be aging eventually. Believe it or not, she's still pretty early in her game of aging. Um, and I'm not done with her story as a child quite yet. So don't think you're going to get off that easy. Believe it or not, a lot of what's going to happen to Indigo in her childhood is going to shape who she is in her future. So if you could just bear with me and learn a little bit about her childhood or experience it with her, that would be fan-freaking-tastic. So Gene, in the last month, has let himself go. He's starting to get a little loony. He's starting to get a little crazy and also fall back in old ways. Also, show of hands, anybody realized how much money he has? Yes, Gene McKinley is down to his last $800. $800, you guys, with three children. Think about this for a second. What the hell did he do with his money? Where did it go? How come he doesn't have it anymore? Anybody have any ideas? Let me know in the comments down below who do you think Gene did with almost forty freaking five thousand dollars. I'm just curious. So what we're gonna do with Mr. Gene is we're gonna go ahead and he's talking to himself right now. It's a typical occurrence. We're gonna go and finally, finally allow the um, traits to be changed. What I'm gonna do is actually going to give him two new traits. I'm going to give him the kleptomaniac trait because Gene, if you guys haven't been following this LP for a while, Gene was a criminal and right now with three mouths to feed you guys his and his alcohol addiction just thrown through the roof, he's going to have to get a little a little creative, quite quite um quite literally. So what we're going to do is I actually have to go ahead and exit out of this really quick. Yes, I'm sure I want to exit. I need to enable um Full edit cast, because I thought I did that, but I didn't. And we're going to give him the kleptomaniac trait, and then we're also going to go and give him the insane trait. Because, like I said, um, Gene's been drinking a lot lately. And ever since the, the death of his baby mama, and maybe some other things that we don't know about yet, he's just kind of lost it. Now, <laughs> um, I'm not going to lie, and I'm pretty sure a lot of you seen this coming. His neighbors have taken notice of his um, alcohol addiction or just his lack of involvement into his children's lives of, as of late. So that's a little unfortunate too. I'm kind of, I'm kind of worried. And as you can see, he's just really just letting himself go. All right. So I'm going to go and uh, I'm going to let him keep the uh, art lover treat because that's just what he is. Or I'll let him keep the creative. I don't know. Um... I'll do, I'll let him keep creative because he is a creative person. He's a creative, I don't know, insane man, a creative genius maybe. So let's get the klepto treat, which is right here. And it says these Sims don't mind borrowing things from others. A simple with a simple swipe, but will get tense when they have not swiped anything in a while. So basically he's going to go around and start stealing some stuff. Uh, and then the next one is being a little insane in the membrane. Yep, definitely happening. Uh, if I could find the insane, okay, there he goes. So, um, and now he's voguing, hella cute, right? <laughs> so a few things that I wanted to do was just check on our Indy here. I love her so much. She seriously, I think is going to look just like her mommy. Um, Indigo is a tomboy. She always has been, maybe not as much as she once was, but she definitely is a little bit more of a tomboy. She'll always have her like longer hair. Um, but I think, you know, her dad seems more pleased when she, you know, is less of a tomboy, more of a girly girl. And, you know, Indigo doesn't want to like, Indigo literally would have her hair like this. Um, and, you know, or just kind of express herself. Like she wouldn't be whatever you identify as girly girl. Do you know what I mean? Like, I don't want to get into terms here because people get all, people get all <laughs> crazy when I do that. But you know what I mean? Um... I don't know, because you could still be a girly girl and have short hair. Let me just go ahead and say that so I cover my butt. <laughs> but do you get what I'm saying? Um, yeah, she wants to express herself, but I don't know. I don't know. Dad's a little weird, so I'm trying to figure out a hairstyle. I actually really like this one on her a lot. That will kind of match what I'm thinking here. And then there's some new uh, 
stuff from the Romantic Gardens pack that I really love. And I actually seriously am digging this shirt on her. She is so cute. I'm, I'm going to give it to her. Right now, the clothing items that they have aren't the best because Dad is not making the money that he once made. See, I like this. This is very cute to me. This is definitely a little bit of indie and a little bit of whatever. This chick, we definitely have been um, totally just, you know, ignoring lately. I mean, <laughs> all of them. But don't worry. Don't worry. Some things are going to be in the works here. And um, we, uh, I don't know if we'll have to put up with that much longer. We'll have to see. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and kind of just give Elena a little bit of a makeover. I don't mind this. She's a little princessa, as you could probably imagine. She's definitely spoiled in other ways. Her aunt spoils the crap out of her. So no. Um, Elena and... Jean Jr. have not gone without by any means. They have not gone without. I can't say the same for, you know, I can't say the same for poor, poor Indy, but um, it's definitely ringing true for them. They're totally spoiled. I actually don't mind his his clothes. And really, he looks just like freaking Nick Ruvini. He really does. Uh, I don't mind giving him the same shirt that Indigo has, but like, it's probably not going to work out the same way. So I'm going to give him because it would be like too much, right? He he looks so funny. <laughs> He's kind of cute though. Okay, so there we go. Now that we have everybody situated, we can go ahead and continue on with the, the story. So I'm going to start doing some stuff. And you guys are going to have to really start paying attention. I usually tell you what's going on. But there may be some things that I'm going to start doing that make no sense at all. So... You'll have to just bear with me. Right now, Gene's actually going to go ahead and use the restroom, kind of clean up a little bit. He probably could start selling things, but uh, I think he's getting a notice in the mail today or tomorrow that the people who presently actually own this land are evicting him. He's just causing way too much of a scene, and I'm pretty sure this girl is walking across the street pantalous. Donde estas tu pantalones, girl? Friends. Look at her. She got the booty that makes all the boys say hello. Mm. Mm, she shakes like jello. I'm just saying. That was just the stupidest rap I've ever came up with. But hey, it works. So I'm definitely going to start kind of looking around and seeing what places are out and about that we could possibly um, move into with our, our little um, amount of money here. So what I'm going to do, okay, I got to sell some cash to buy a plot of land. We're getting evicted. That's pretty much what's happening. Um, he doesn't know that yet, so I'm going to go ahead and have him check the mail. Obviously, it's bills. He can afford to pay the bills um, just this once, but obviously he's not going to go ahead and do that because he just doesn't have the, the means to do it. He needs to be able to go ahead and purchase a plot of land. Okay, he's getting his notice that he's being evicted. Um, honestly, it's nothing that new to him. I don't know why the kids are standing out here. I really, really, really freaking don't. I'm going to let Indigo go ahead and hug Uni. This is her room. This is like where she lives. You know, it'd be really freaking sad for her to end up actually having to move here. So I'm going to let all these other kids, because <laughs> like I really don't even care about them. To be honest, I know it's horrible, um, move out. Jean's going to go out for another night on the town right now. I know that is so bad, but he's just getting his eviction notice. Truthfully, he can't honestly even handle it. Um, there's this woman that he seems to be pretty fond of. Her name's Deborah, Deborah Henley, which is weird because I don't know where she's been. I feel like I just want to go ahead and kind of give her a makeover if that's okay really fast. So I'm going to go ahead and make over Deborah. Maybe we'll go hang out with her. Maybe he's a friend that he's confided in. You guys know, you need to leave me your theories. Who the hell is Deborah? Because I honestly have not... I have not been able to with that at all. Um, so I don't know where she even came into the picture and why she has a relationship with our man, Jean. So let's go find Debs. She's not going to be hard to find. She sticks out like a damn sore thumb. And there are so many freaking people here. Like, look at this dude. He is a monstriso. He's a freaking beast. So Henley. Okay, wait. Deborah's a teenager. Is she not? Okay, maybe... Okay, she's a teenager. So Deborah, what? Okay, that's interesting. So Deborah is not supposed to be blue. Okay, Deborah needs to. All right. Well, I guess Deborah isn't anybody important. So if you left your suggestions, I'm sorry, but she, for whatever reason, he has a relationship with her. I'm not exactly sure why or how. Um, but I'm just gonna give her some basic outfits, whatever. I'm just gonna get clothes, pretty much, while we're here. 
real fast. Two seconds. Okay, there we go. There we go. There is Deb looking fantastic in her outfits. Just so fabulous. Okay, so sassy. I love it. All right. Wow, girl. She's actually really cute. Um, to be honest, the blue. She 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 made the blue work. Okay, cool. Whatever. Damn. I was actually looking forward to it. So let's go ahead and have G to go hit the bars yet again. This time I think we're gonna hit up Windenburg because there's some nasty, dirty, musty places there. I don't know what's gonna happen to Jean um, in the future, but I do know that today specifically he is going to end up getting evicted. And I just don't see anywhere like around here that we can afford a plot of land. I do know Newcrest as a few places that are kind of cheap and small. Willow Creek would be really good, but all the places that we can move are really, really close. There's this house right here, um, which we could probably end up moving into anyway. Um, but I'm actually just going to go ahead and, uh, well, I'm going to go delete this, this plot of land here so that we can move in. And, um, I'm going to have it really hard on Gene because he's going to have to forfeit the house because he's getting evicted. So he was renting the house. Okay. For a little bit. And this is actually a super duper freaking cute little place. Like, I, I feel really bad doing this. So I'm going to save this to my library because I just like it. I think it's really cute. So let's go ahead and save it. Um, and we are going to go and bulldoze it. And then I think Gene is actually going to go ahead to and move to Willow Creek. Now, he is going to be seeking a life of crime and, you know, dirty, dirty things. I don't know who he's going to rip off. But I definitely think he's going to be blackmailing a little certain someone. Um, well... I might have given a little too much away, but <laughs> do you remember that time that, um, I think it was Garnet, wasn't it Garnet? That was, she was like kind of talking, who is it, Garnet or Gemma? I can't remember who the hell it was. Let me see. Let me see. I'll have to figure it out because I remember Avery, right? Okay. Yeah. Okay. So when, and he like doesn't even know her. Hold on a second, guys. Sorry. Okay. It was Gemma and he was talking to Avery. So do you remember that time? Well, something may or may have not tripped Jean's, you know, recent alcohol drinking, maybe pushing it to the next level sort of thing. Mm-hmm. It's true. So I'm going to go ahead and have him travel. We're going to go take it to Windenburg. He's going to go ahead and get wasted again. That's just usually what he does. And that's pretty much what Indigo is dealing with, you guys. I know it seems a little boring, but it's true. There's some serious things that are happening right now um, in Indigo's life primarily. Why the hell am I screwing up so bad? So let me go ahead and see. So um, Jean, okay, I'll tell you. So Jean, at that day at the park, um, Avery wanted to tell him something. And because Gemma, okay, had told Avery about some things. That lavender came back into the picture. She was demanding to see Indigo. She saw that she was pregnant, blah, blah, blah. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Um, Gemma may have had a moment of weakness, and she may have confided in her sister about how it made her feel, and maybe also unlashed or unleashed rather some secrets onto her sister that only her sister presently knows now she knows that those kids are not jeans at all she actually went to go tell jean um about you know i guess her sister's infidelity but decided to refrain from a minute because she does not have the financial means to take care of those children at this present time so she decided to not um, but because it's her sister or whatever the situation is, um, you know, she said, keep in touch, whatever. As you can see, Jean has not kept in touch with Avery whatsoever. And, and Jean might, you know, he's starting to drown a little bit. He's starting to really go under. He's starting to lose it mentally, physically. He's losing his house tonight. And instead of being there with the kids, he is, <laughs> he's at the bar yet again, having a drink and, you know, just forgetting about his sorrows. Now, I don't know why, you know, he's he's changed so much. He, like, had his things together. And I feel like Lavender kind of came in like a freaking tornado and just literally turned his world upside down. And I know that may not make sense to many people, but it's kind of true. She really, really, really did. Um, this guy here seems a little interesting. Shelby Newtonberg. Um, I've never really thought that, you know, Jean needed a partner in crime. 
But you never know. This guy actually looks like he may know a thing or two about living life on the wild side, to be honest with you. So I'm actually going to come over here and um, I'm going to I'm going to see what this guy is about and if he also may have some similarities in terms of uh, the things that, you know, I like to do on my free time. I don't think I can actually steal anything here presently, but he seems to actually be enthused about um, stealing as well. I've been trying to order a drink from this guy for like ever. And if he doesn't give me a drink, I'm seriously about to give him a rude introduction. I don't know. There's something very odd about this man, but I definitely would be interested in, in possibly um, linking up with him later and seeing what needs to be done. Could you imagine Jean being in some sort of like mob? Oh my God, things could get really dirty. So he's telling him that he's a criminal mastermind. He isn't a criminal mastermind now, but at once he used to be. And uh, this guy is just taking it with the punches. He seems to be really cool. He's like, absolutely, give me your number and we'll link up. He's like, I'll tell you exactly how to make cash fast, my man. Don't worry about it ever again. You will never suffer. I promise you I have the hookup. <laughs> and that was pretty much it. So I'm kind of excited to see how exactly um, this dude here can help me earn a couple dollars. I mean, Gene used to have a past, a past that was so brutal I don't think we'll ever be able to unravel it. Now, there is a link between Jean and Jake. That's all that I'm going to give you. That's all that I'm going to give you. You'll have to think how there's a link there, but there is. There's a link, and that link is going to be extremely crucial and important a little bit later on. So we're going to come over here, and we are going to brighten this guy's day. Um, I'm going to really try to like rub elbows with Shelby to the point where I kind of become friends with him or whatever. Um, I really want to know like what it is he does and all that kind of stuff. Like I, if I feel like I can be friends with him, maybe he'll trust me and he'll let me in in his little, his little gang. We could do like, we could make like a group or whatever. And I don't know if, if one of the things that we'll be able to do in the club or what have you would be stealing. That'd be so cool. I could imagine. Um, but I definitely want to make like a mob or something. Because Gene's desperate. He's desperate. And he's also drunk right now, you guys. He's super freaking drunk. So I don't know if there's any females or anything here right now. Um, because Jink is... Jink. Jink. Jake. No, Gene is actually looking to... Looking for a little bit of love right now. But this is a night tonight. So I don't think he's going to go ahead and find anyone here. I'm actually going to have him go ahead and hop over to a club really quick. Yes, a club. Um, he's going to go ahead and say goodbye to Shelby. I'm actually really interested in seeing how that whole thing pans out with Gene becoming a bad boy again, just to make ends meet. We're going to have him go over to one of the local clubs. We're going to have him go to this one, the Narwhal Arms, because it's kind of a dusty, musty, dirty place. It's not super duper hyphy. Um, Gene is more of a, ba a bar hopper, not really like a party goer. But again, he's being really self-destructive right now. He honestly... I'm not going to say he doesn't care about his kids, but he's not in the right mind, you guys. He truly isn't. And I really hope that, you know, he ends up getting his ish together before he gets evicted and possibly loses his children, which would be really crappy, you know? So there's no one here really right now except for this um, DJ. So I'm actually going to go over here and kind of, like, uh, introduce myself to her, I suppose. Okay. We'll see how that goes. Like I said, I'm not really looking for love. I'm just looking for... A little fun. That's really all that I'm doing right now. It's not a very positive thing, but hey, it's I'm being honest with you guys. That's what he's doing. So we'll see how that works out for him. I'm also going to just figure out a little bit more about her. Act like I'm interested very subtly, but I'm not really interested. I could care less, to be honest. All right. She seems to be kind of interested in talking to me. Very cool. There's Jade, but we already have her kind of inner other LP. So he, Jane is going to go ahead and he's feeling a little ballsy right now. He's actually going to go ahead and give her a pickup line. Um, she's actually single. So who knows what could happen here? I'm going to go ahead and compliment her outfit a little bit. Um, I'm going to ask about her career. That was just a little bit intrusive. She really wasn't a fan of all that mess. I think I laid it on just a little bit thicker than I would have liked to. But uh, I think I can go ahead and kind of recruit um, and maybe redeem myself a little bit, I hope. <laughs> um, like I said, I want to see how well we can do this. I'm going to go ahead and give her a knock-knock joke, too. She seems to be interested in whatever we're doing. 
And this girl is just legit eavesdropping right now. It's not very, not very flattering. So, gosh, I wish I would have taken a picture earlier about the other guy, but I keep forgetting to take photos. All right, so I'm being, I'm being very nice to her, and she seems to be okay with it. So I'm gonna go ahead and flatter her too. And um, I'm also gonna discuss some color theory. I don't know if any of this is working, you guys, but we're just, it's kind of a shot in the dark. I'm going to ask her or compliment her appearance, see if she likes it. She seems to be okay with it. I'm going to give her a heartfelt compliment. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Um, should I flirt with her? What do you think? Yes? Yes! Ooh, Gene. Okay, well, I mean, God, he's such a dog. Um... I mean, he's not. He's single, so it's kind of like whatever. But I know so many of you really want him to be with Lavender, and I totally understand. Okay, he was doing good up until that moment, but whatever. I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to push it. There's a whole bunch of people over here, and he actually – ooh, who the – is that Lilith? Oh, my goodness. <gasps> you guys. Oh, my gosh. Oh. <gasps> This little dirty boo-boo. Oh, my God. Oh, my goodness. You guys, this is freaking Brody's girlfriends or whatever the hell it is. I don't even know. And the thing is, you guys, she's freaking pregnant, though. And the beautiful part is she's talking to another guy. <gasps> Dakota. Oh, my God. She's making a legit creepy face right now. Dakota is going to have a heart attack, you guys. This is definitely her, correct? <gasps> oh, my goodness. I don't know what to do. Well, he wouldn't know her, so I don't really know what to say. I kind of want Jean to, like, go knock on somebody's door and, like, rob them or something. I don't know. So let me go ahead and have him head on home since he is feeling a little bit tired. He does have her number and stuff, so he could always talk to her a little bit later if we decided to do that. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and have him kind of wake up the kids. This is so messed up. I really am kind of scared that he's going to take it out on the children. He's going to just be angry and mean, and he feels like his kids have not ruined his life but he used to be a really good dad in the beginning do you guys remember he used to be a really good dad in the beginning but these kids are up and he's not having it she's freaking eating ice cream um i'm gonna come over here and be mean i'm gonna yell at and then i'm gonna also go ahead and i'm gonna you know scold scold um what's your name sweetie <laughs> jean i'm gonna also scold elena and then i'm gonna tell i'm not gonna scold her because i think you know that's that's his baby right there so i don't think he's gonna ever Take it out on Indigo. And Indigo probably hears him yelling. See, she's listening right now. She's like, oh, crap, I'm going to bed. So she is. She's going to get her butt to bed before her dad comes home and starts yelling at him or yelling at the kids and stuff or yelling at her personally. Okay, so the kids are kind of like, you know, doing their own thing. I mean, to be honest with you, there's nobody here to tell them what to do. There's nobody to, like, point them in the right, the right direction. How are they about to listen to him, honestly? So right now, Gene is feeling kind of depressed and he's really, 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 really sad. You know, this is just a man who's kind of lost everything, to be real with you. And the one good thing he thought he had, it wasn't meant to be. So him and Lavender, although at two very different parts of their life, um, are going through very similar things. Um, he's going to go ahead and actually text. Um, he's going to go ahead and, and text Diana. I don't know how that's going to work out but he's going to go ahead and text her because he's interested in talking to her he's also going to go ahead and send a text to shelby um i think shelby was possibly looking for a roommate um and shelby does realize that gene has like three children so i think what we're going to do is maybe gene instead of giving getting well he's going to get ev evicted either way his landlord has just had enough he doesn't take care of his house he just he trashes the place you know the the freaking neighbors are always calling and, and complaining about Jean leaving the kids alone. And they're not old enough to be alone. Um, so he really doesn't have anywhere else to go. He doesn't have any money to do it. So I think today, right now, actually, we're going to go ahead and pack up some stuff. And, um, I mean, we don't really know this man to be moving in with him. But uh, we might actually have to do it. All right. So she wants to get to know Jean. She just has this yearning, this this. This passion to get to know her daddy. And right now, her her best friend, I'm not going to lie to you, is definitely her uni. That is like her baby. You know, she loves this little guy 
so freaking much, you know? I want to take a picture with her in uni because I freaking love it so much. I love it. I really do. I feel a little bit bad for the kids. I feel mostly bad for Indigo, naturally, but I really do. I want to see if Elena will start to get to know Indigo. And maybe the kids, although they have their differences, you know, they're all going through the exact same thing right now. Maybe they will end up actually oh, she locked them out <laughs> um she actually does have a, a, a want to get to know her siblings eh. um but maybe they'll all come together and they'll be they'll be strong you know what i mean because this family for one by the way um you know not always were connected by by blood you know at one point think about amelia you know and i know for some of you that's gonna be such a sore spot but um think about her you know Blood doesn't mean anything to this family. And Indigo is so wise beyond her ears. She really freaking is. She is a very smart little girl. I think she sensed, well, obviously she senses some things that, um, you know, maybe others don't. And also as, you know, she gets older, those senses, her emotions, they're going to change. She's going to be somebody whose traits are constantly always changing. One day she may be super creative and happy, and the other day she may be sad and depressed and all this kind of stuff. It's going to be really, really fun playing with her as she gets older. I can't actually wait. I'm really excited. So if I seem a little like I'm still piecing the story together, especially in the beginning of this video, I totally am. I usually think about what I'm going to do, but then I have to kind of make it fall into place right in front of you on the spot, on screen. It gets a little difficult sometimes. Um, but I kind of have a new direction of where I'm going with this, and I'm really, really, really freaking excited. A lot of the drama and a lot of the things that we're doing in, in between uh, the age stages is, you know, just to pass along these 10 generations. Because honestly, if we were doing the same thing over and over, we would definitely be um, getting a little bored, especially after 100 freaking parts. So Gene actually has his very last shift at work today. Um, and then he is going to quit his job. And he's not getting fired or anything. Um, although his boss is kind of tired of Gene showing up late and showing up stinking like alcohol and booze and beer. Um, you know... It is what it is. His boss is actually really, 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 really lenient. It's an old friend. Gene has known his boss since he was a teenager and, like, used to graffiti walls. Like, they go way back. So, you know, he kind of can go in to and from the job whenever he wants to in terms of, like, having employment. But the best money, the fast money, is definitely going back, um, going back to being a criminal and being a bad boy. And if he does that, he could seriously potentially lose – just a lot more than, you know, <laughs> what he thinks he can lose. He has a lot more to lose. Like, he may think, he may think, he may think, he may think, he may think. Does that even make sense? Have you ever gotten, like, stuck at a word? He may think. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> okay. He may think he's lost everything. But trust me, this boy has just a little bit more to lose. So, I'm going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here. I do want to know what you guys think in the comments down below of everything because a lot of new stuff kind of took place here you found out that lilith is actually pregnant with brody's baby how the hell do you think dakota is going to take that also gene rubbing elbows with a freaking criminal mastermind who's just literally lurking preying on him i'm pretty sure that is no coincidence and also what do you think that that link between Jean and Jake could possibly be. Let me know in the comments down below because you, boo-boo, have a lot of thinking to do. All right, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to go and comment, rate, and subscribe and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine. And as usual, I will see you all next time.